one, um, number one topic on my mind, the number one topic on your mind today should be how do I boost my immune system? How do I boost the immune system of my loved ones? How do I boost the immune system of my children, right? You know, regardless of what's going around, right? I don't want to use that scary word, and I tell you why, because uh, YouTube has a tendency to block the videos. But this is the number one talking point worldwide, period, right? So let's jump in. And by the way, this is a topic that I will talk about all day long. I do have my, um, uh, what's it called, the uh, registered practitioner in indigenous medicine. Um, some, some people might think, well, you know, indigenous medicine, natural medicine, that's all a hoax. No, the, the bottom line is with natural medicine, it's been known for thousands of years, whether it's Eastern medicine, whether it's Native American um, medicine, whether it's medicine from the Amazons in South America. It's been around for thousands of years and it's plant-based, plant life medicine with zero side effects. And I'm not talking pharmaceuticals here, right? No pharmaceuticals will come up in my discussion, right? So um, the one thing we all need to do is um, get good rest, good sleep. If your body misses out on a lot of um, hours per week, sleep-wise, your immune system becomes horribly compromised, right? Um, water, I suggest six, seven, eight bottles of water, especially because I'm reaching out to my uh, rideshare brothers and sisters here who are, who are in the front line, right? They're picking up people at airports. Um, they have truly have the chance of coming into contact with individuals that you know, that are compromised in this area. And um, uh, that's who I care about. But I care, of course, I care for my uh, family, number one, my loved ones, for you, the rideshare community, drivers and riders, as well as the general public, anyone worldwide, period, right? Very simple things to do to boost your immune system from someone that um, spent about four years in this field, right? I have developed numerous products natural sunscreens, natural supplements, um, producing them in here in California and overseas in Italy. So it's a subject that I, I do know a lot about. Um, whether you think natural medicine is a hoax or not, um, I can tell you what works, right? And I haven't been sick in four and a half years. Thank you very much. My kids don't get sick either. My um, fiance doesn't get sick I either. My ex-girlfriend who got sick very, very often when I put her on this regimen, um, she didn't get sick again, right? And she had a very, very compromised immune system, talking about my ex-girlfriend. Um, so movement, uh, walking, you know, getting the blood circulating, sleep, walking, water, great things. If you can hit the gym, get a workout in, get that cardio going, stairs, uh, light weights, repetitions, right? Just really, really get the blood flowing top to bottom, right? There's also an amazing uh, med massager, uh, uh, um, a device that you can buy where you sit down, you put your feet on the med massager and it circulates the blood top to bottom, right? You want to oxygenate the blood. The cells need to get excited, right? Um, cells that are breaking down attack each other, and usually that leads to cancer. Very, very well known. But if you get a lot of oxygen into the cells, a lot of movement, uh, they get the chance to regenerate, they get excited, and that is amazing for your body. Vitamin C on this side, right? Vitamin C in its purest form would be called ascorbic acid. It's powder. It tastes disgusting. It's not in tablet form. But, I mean, they, they, they have a really good product here, emergency. They really do. But if you really want to go hardcore, high absorption, get ascorbic acid, and you know, on vitamin C, you can take, you know, 1,000 milligram tablets, you could take four or five of those a day, no problem. Regardless if the FDA says you should take lower vitamin C, you cannot go wrong, right? And a good indicator that you have a lot of vitamins in your body, your um, urine usually turns like really neon yellow, right? The number one vitamin 
to get um, your um, immune system up is um, vitamin D3. And listen up, folks. AIDS patients were given 50,000 IU. That's the measurement system, IU. 50,000 IU daily to keep their immune system upright. This is the number one immune booster. Where do you get a lot of D from as well? You go out in the sunshine. You, you go and sit in the sun for 15 minutes, right? Um, you load up on a lot of D3 from the sun. Um, Rhino Part says B12 helps me keep going through the day. Absolutely. Your Bs uh, are essential, right? But the number one immune boost, booster right off the bat, go out and, and don't buy the real cheap stuff. Don't buy the six, seven dollar stuff. It really starts getting exciting and good from about 10, 12, 15 dollars upwards, right? High food grade, high absorption vitamins. That's the way to go. So a vitamin D3 is something that I take every day. I swear on it, right? So we're jumping around. Probiotics, my friends, it gets really, really expensive in you if you enter this arena because the good probiotics usually start from about $25, $30 upwards. Um, buying probiotics at, let's say, Trader Joe's for $9, $10, yeah, you'd have to take several of them. doesn't give you the true effect, right? You do get a lot of probiotics here from yogurt, good natural yogurts. It creates the fauna and the flora and the right type of bacteria in your intestine system, in your colon, right? It also allows for the delivery of these proteins, of these oils, of these vitamins throughout the body if your digestive system is working well. And the number one thing to aid your digestive system so all of these get delivered is definitely probiotics, right? So this one will set you back a little bit, right? probably one of the best products on the market that I know of. And I, uh, I go to the Natural Expo West um, Expo, the biggest natural expo in the world every year in California, in Anaheim. Uh, this year, it's March the 3rd to March the 7th. If you are in um, California and you want to educate yourself, go down there March to 3rd, March the 7th. The best speakers worldwide, the best product, natural products, foods, cosmetics, supplements, Worldwide, 3,600 exhibitors, you will learn a wealth of information about this world. Now, let's carry on. Garlic, obviously, in its purest form. You can buy garlic cloves. And yeah, people will say, oh my God, your, your breath um, smells like garlic. But load up on garlic. Put it in your pasta. Put it in your salad. Just garlic, 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 garlic oil. It's really good. It boosts it, right? And in these times, you don't have to worry about what your breath smells like. In these times, you have to worry how low or how high is my immune system, right? So you got to get it up. Um, we have eight people in the house. Um, I hope that a lot of my fellow um, YouTubers, subscribers come across this video. Um, I will be loading it up, up with the, uh, the right type of keywords because I really, truly want this video to get in, in front of as many people as possible worldwide, right? Whatever I left out. Um, on the zinc, um, our minerals, sort of any disease in your body is a deficiency of minerals. Probably one of the best products that I know of on the market um, by Sun Warrior, um, S-U-N-W-A-R-R-I-O-R. -R -R. Um, they have a mineral complex of about 70, 70 trace and major minerals. It's called Sun Warrior. And um, you have all your colloidal copper, your colloidal silver, your colloidal gold, your magnesium, your calcium, your potassium. Um, you, if you are not getting your minerals from certain foods because you don't like your greens or you don't like this food, you are lacking specific minerals. Let me just tell you the number one mineral against cancer or preventing, bringing down the likelihood of cancer. People don't know this, but it's selenium. Where do, you, where do we get selenium from? We get selenium from Brazil nuts, right? Brazil nuts, right? They're those big, oily, round nuts. We hardly ever eat them, right? So you're not getting enough selenium in your body. But with liquid light, Sun Warrior, you're getting 70 different minerals. But the one mineral, um, as far as the immune system booster goes, is over here. It's zinc. Um, you do not want to take more than 100 
milligrams of zinc a day. They say about 50 mg is the way to go. So you don't want to load your body up with too much zinc. Echinacea over here, great supplement, very well known, um, immune booster. Um, you know, these are these would be my top tips when it comes to berries. We know that berries are antioxidants, whether they're blackberries, cranberries, strawberries, the best of the best, also very, very expensive, is um, elderberry. So let's say I'm going to go shopping for myself, for my family, because I really, really want to get that immune system up as high and high as possible. If I'm not exercising, I should start a slow exercising routine walking and then slowly start building up my cardio, right? If you overweight, if you're obese and you jump straight in into heavy exercise, could end up really, really dangerous. You want to work your way in as far as your workout goes, right? You don't want to overtax your heart, your, um, your system, if you carry a lot of extra weight, right? So um, walking, exercising will actually help you trim that uh, weight, you know, going for jogs, getting the endorphins up, you know, when those endorphins kick in after about a five mile jog, super, super, super good for the body. But the ones that you can go out and buy, okay, I can get this a good one for about $10. I can get a good zinc. I can get a good Ignatia for about $10, right? Um, yogurts will be in the, in the region of about five to $10 for a natural yogurt. Elderberry, the good ones start at $15 to $20. The good garlic tablets start at about ten to fifteen dollars. The really, really best vitamin D three started about ten to fifteen dollars upwards. The really, the very best probiotics, BioK from Canada and Raw, pretty much start up from about five dollars a shot or thirty-five to forty dollars for a big box. Right? Sleep is for free. Just take it. Rest in between. And you know, the one thing is that rideshare drivers uh, who who do a lot of driving. A lot of sitting in their car and don't take the time to, you know, drink the water, get a little bit of a nap in between, go for a little walk, exercise, stretch. You got to do that in order to keep your immune system upright. Um, emergency, and those are pretty expensive sachets. You could, you can go out and get like, you know, for 10 bucks, you can get really uh, good tablets. Um, these um, sachets usually run for about $12 per box, but here I've given you probably the very best of the best, right? I don't, the strange thing is, um, are you able to, can anybody comment, am I live? Um, is the feed, is there something wrong with the feed? We generally have way, way, way more people in the house. Surprise, we only, maybe it's because it's Saturday and I'm doing this mid-afternoon, but could anybody, it's all good. James Burr, thank you. Okay, good. I appreciate that reassurance, Rhino and James Burr. Um, you know, this, this topic, is it about right share? Is it about money? No, it's about health, right? It's about our immune system, your immune system, your kid's immune system, your wife's immune system, your husband's immune system. Hey, let me just go out and start number one, vitamin D3. Right? This, my friends, again, I'm going to repeat myself here. But to patients, AIDS patients, they would give 50,000 IU. That's the measurement system, IU of D3, to keep the immune system up, right? You can comfortably, comfortably take 5,000 to 10,000 IU, right? These tablets usually have dosage of 5,000 IU. Take two to three of those per day. Boom, you're immediately boosting your immune system, right? So any of these bacteria, viruses out there, um, you know, if they enter the body and they say, well, hang on, we have a powerful immune system here, back off, right? Um, there's one that's circulating worldwide right now. Usually 1% to 2% that contract it end up in a fatality. Do not even allow that bacteria, that virus to accelerate. Why? Because you've put in all the stops, right? You've put in all the stops um, and as my title already says, boosting your immune system is the number one priority right now. The number one. It's not money. It's your health, my friends, right? For you and for your family. Now, I did come across a great article. Um, wanted to share this nine natural ways to boost your immune system. 
everything that I plug, everything that I talk about will never, ever be about pharmaceuticals. I do not send people to go out and buy pharmaceuticals. Why? Because if you read all the little side effects of the pharmaceuticals, pharmaceuticals are Band-Aids. Temporary help with 10, 15 side effects, right? It just doesn't work. But, um, you know, it, as it says, it can happen with a blink of an eye. One day you're fine and the next you're not, right? You can pick it up from your coworkers at a school, whatever. Um, again, they say sleep like a regular human being. I'm going to leave the link underneath the video. I'm not going to really go through all the details right now. You can read that up afterwards. But I've already addressed sleep. Uh, garlic, which I've already brought up, it says eat more garlic. It says you may not be doing your breath any favors, but eating garlic regularly can do wonders to your health. Garlic's a good one, right? Um, you know, that's what a garlic clove looks like. We all know it. Number three, this is a great one that I probably didn't include um, in my um, uh, video or in my introduction. It says drink lemon, honey, ginger, and turmeric with warm water. Okay, you're basically making a drink. Now, if I look at those ingredients right now, uh, with my background, I could say that's probably one of the best tonics for your colon, for your intestine system, that combination of lemon, honey, ginger, turmeric. Let's break them down. So lemon, if you don't know this, it may t taste, you know, oh, my God, that when you bite into a lemon, your face cringes. But what does lemon, what, what are the qualities that lemon have? Lemon really balances the pH, right? If your body is too acidic, danger, right? Too much coffee, too acidic, right? Your pH level is too acidic and not good at, for the cells at all, right? What the lemon does is it pH balances, it brings it more to, towards the alkaline and balances it out. If your body is too much on the alkaline side, again, lemon will bring it into the middle. You want to have a fine, fine balance be there in the middle between acidic and alkaline. Um, honey is really only good if you're buying good, expensive raw honey, not the synthetic honeys, right? Uh, ginger and turmeric. Turmeric is, you know, one of the top supplements out there. The number one uh, thing that turmeric and ginger do for you, it brings out any inflammation in the body, right? The moment these bacterial viruses get into the body, they wreak havoc. They create a lot of inflammation. If you look at like cancer patients, when their tumors grow and grow and grow, uh, what ginger and turmeric and American ginseng do for your body is that it reduces inflammation in the body. So that coupled with warm water, um, warm water is always good, the Japanese tea or, or, or green tea, you are now putting a tonic or a remedy into your body that's good for colds, right? And it's really, really good for the colon system. What is the colon? As the foods go into our body, the colon looks like this, right? It pushes the food through the system. If I look at my body here, I have the ascending colon, the transverse colon, and the descending colon. There could be impactions in the colon, right? There could be like rancy fatty acids that get in there that prohibit this type of action taking place. You want clean colon functionality that really massages the food through into the intestines, right? And this tonic right here is amazing. So if your colon is functioning, they say disease starts in the colon. If your colon is functioning, it can now deliver the oils, the vitamins, the proteins, everything that your body needs effectively, right? So please, um, you know, if you are suffering from obesity, if your stomach is swelling, You'll see this a lot with truckers, right? And I love truckers. They're hard, the most hardcore workers. But a lot of truckers go from pit stop to pit stop, gas station to gas station, and they eat this food, which is loaded, loaded with bad oils. Usually a lot of, um, what is the oil? It's called C, canola oil, right? Those cooking oils. They're really, really bad. They build up inside the colon, and the colon starts swelling out. And they have this really, really big, big uh, belly, which is like really swollen, right? And that's not just fat. That's actually in a colon, diseased colon expanding, right? So by getting those type of things in there and cleaning out these pipes, right, in the colon, you now allow food 
to go through the ascending colon, transverse colon, and descending colon and push all the crap out. In the meantime, in that process of the food being broken down, being digested, moving through the system, moving through the colon, moving through the small intestine, moving through the large intestine, the body is taking what it needs, right? So the things that I've spoken to you about earlier on um, is really so... Um, Rhino Part says, my doc always tells me I'm low on D3 and take 10,000 a day. Your, your doctor's absolutely right. And like you say, you could take more than 10,000 IU, right? It's important that you know the dosage, not 10,000 tablets, but 10,000 IU, the measurement system, right? So Rhino Parts is right on the money there, right? So we went through that. They said they're number three. Um, I like this personally. Uh, make a batch of chicken soup, you know, that broth. Um, and again, if you're making uh, this chicken soup, again, I, I would highly suggest you have it like with free range chickens, healthy chickens, not with chickens that have been raised with antibiotics. Because at the end of the day, um, a lot of these, the industry, the chicken industry gets these things fat, like in 14 to 21 days, pumps them up with really, really bad antibiotics, which ultimately, if you're eating them, get into your digestive system. So when you're eating chicken, Unfortunately, uh, you have to buy the more expensive one, right? Which is antibiotics free or really good uh, free range animals that get to feed off the land, the grass, the corn, etc. Not the synthetic foods that they're receiving just to pump them up. So if you are making a chicken soup, whatever type of broth you make, make sure that you pick the ingredients very, very well, right? Every, it, pick things that are antibiotic free. Otherwise, it ultimately ends up in your system and wreaks havoc, right? Make workouts a part of your weekly regimen. Now, um, this is a big one. And again, this takes a ton of discipline. And usually because I'm making the video for ride share drivers, we don't get that weekly regimen in enough. But there is no excuse if you're somewhere, you're waiting, you're at a parking lot, you're at an event, take a little walk. Lock your car, go for a little walk, stimulate the cells a little bit. Enrique is in the house. We welcome you. Mark A is in the house. On the other hand, if you need antibiotics, you can get the other chicken. <laughs> that's true. The other, yeah, well, that, that's the bad chicken that's been pumped up with the antibiotics. And some people will rush to the doctor if they have such a bad cold. They'll say, doctor, doctor. Hit me with the antibiotics. I never take antibiotics. I'll take all the healthy stuff, keep the immune system up maximum so I don't have to uh, resort to tablets, to pharmaceutica at the end of the day. Pharmaceutica, my friends, open it up and just read all the side effects, right? Oh, but you will suffer from diarrhea. You will get this. You will get spells of dizziness. You will get, you might throw up. I mean, the, the side effects on your body from pharmaceutica, awful, right? So work out, um, this elderly couple, you're going cycling, that's huge. Get on a bicycle, get on a treadmill, get on a, on a you know, buy yourself a $100 bike that you can have in your living room and do a little bit of exercise, get your cardio up. Any type of workout regimen is huge. Lifting weights, you don't have to wish lift like heavy, heavy weights. No, light weights, multiple repetitions, you know, upwards, just circulate that blood, get the blood excited, get it oxygenated, right? Um, indulge in tea time, they say, okay, um, you know, this is really going more maybe into Eastern medicine, but like, let's say green teas, the Japanese really like the teas, any form of meditation, shut down your mind, that's really, really good. So there's not all of this crazy anxiety in your body where we're bombarded with all these stressful things. And by the way, stress kills our immune system. So if you know, hey, you know what, right here, Professor, I feel really stressed. Why? I've got this and this and this going on in my life. I've got to take these trips. I've got to, I've got to put X amount of hours in to make my payments, right? I'm under tremendous stress. Knowing that, acknowledging that you're under so much stress as a ride share driver, right? And um, find that quiet place. Like I usually do a little pit stop in Malibu by the beach there, you know, shut my eyes, let the sun load up on some vitamin D3, shut my body down, try to forget about, you know, 
those crazy influences that come your way throughout the day, right? Stress, my friends, is the number one immune system killer, right? Financial stress, right? Sexual stress, like you, you, you lady says, oh, you're not performing in bed, right? Um, okay, well, you know, there's, there's a solution for that. Go out there and maybe get some more like ginger, or so into your body, get your libido up, get your testosterone up, right? There is a natural equivalent for any ailment in the system, my friend. And again, I studied this for years. So you can, you can call me crazy on this one. It's worked for me. It's worked for my family. I haven't been sick in four and a half years. I've made a lot of money um, in the natural supplement and the sunscreen industry selling these type of products. So I do have a really good understanding what works and what doesn't work. Now, another um, big one, yogurt for breakfast. I've already addressed that. Strong on probiotics, natural yogurts, not these. You know, there's this great, like there's a great yogurt at Trader Joe's with honey. It's like a honey-flavored yogurt. Amazing, amazing good stuff, right? Oh, thank you, Mark. A says no smoking, right? Smoking is a killer. Smoking compromises the lungs, the bronchia, right? And in that little screenshot, that, that thumbnail that I made, there is a picture of a lung and bronchial supplement. I use this one. It's the best in the market, deep lung, right? It, it really supports the lungs. It, makes, it, it really makes you feel like you're getting a stronger breath, right? It really gives you a lot of vigor, a lot of power when you're doing any type of uh, workout. Now, um, I mean, doesn't this look exciting? Let me just break this down. You've got your muesli in there. You've got your yogurt. You've got your blackberries. You've got your antioxidant. I mean, this, this, my friends, is an expensive meal. Let me just break this down. You've got your muesli in there. You've got your yogurt. You've got your blackberries. You've got your antioxidant. I mean, this, this, my friends, is an expensive meal. It runs together. You can get these things. You can get a big box at Costco. You can get strawberries. You can get um, muesli. You can get the yogurt, you know. Buy it in bulk, let's say Costco, and make yourself a real healthy right now. Just I'm just saying in these times, right? In these times where we're surrounded by this big CV. I don't want to say the word out because you know YouTube is blocking the videos here. Big one, go outside and soak up some sun. Now you might be in a state where it's snowing, raining a lot, right? Sure, my friends in Europe, in Germany, Sweden, Norway. They're not getting all the sun, right? We here in California, New Mexico, Texas, you're spoiled with the sun. But this really loads up your D3s. If you don't have access to Mr. Sunshine, then go out and get your D3, good D3s, not the cheap, cheap, over-the-counter CVS D3s. Get the high food grade, high absorption D3s. Again, the number one immune booster, the one that you should go out and buy yesterday or today is D3, right? Really. Um, Ari Goodman, what's going on, Professor? I'm going way out of my realm of ride share. I am addressing, um, you know, immune system today in today's um, uh, scary topic floating around the world. You know, go out there, boost your immune system, boost the immune system of your loved ones, right? Um, I like this one, number nine laugh a little or a lot. Haven't you noticed that people around you that laugh a lot um, are happy people, right? People that laugh a lot and smile and 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 like a really good belly laugh. You know, you, you have, let's say you have a funny friend. I have a couple of funny friends. I mean, they crack me up. I can really, laughing is so good for you, right? Laughing really um, kicks stress in the butt. And generally speaking, people that laugh a lot, smile a lot, are happy people with very, very low, low stress. So it's important to laugh. I like that they built this one and they brought this one up at number nine. It says, you've been watching until the wee hours of the night isn't recommended, but a few episodes of your favorite funny show are beneficial, right? Why not go out there and put a funny uh, Will Ferrell movie on or a or a Adam Sandler movie and, you know, laugh a little bit, right? Go and have some fun, laugh a little bit, right? Um, yeah, they say a 2007 study found that laughter really is the best medicine. 
right? Laughter is the best medicine. It can give your immunity a ridiculously easy boost, right? A good, good, heartful belly laugh. And when was the last time you had such a laugh? It was, it was just hurting. You tell the guy, please stop. I can't. I'm laughing. And you're just laughing and you're laughing and laughing. Bam! Immune boost, my friends. So laughing and an overall happy, positive attitude lowers your stress levels. I'm sure you will agree with me. Infantry Sarge, haven't seen him for a long, long time. Welcome, my friend. Well, good to see you, buddy. Uh, we do need to stay ahead of the future in health. Absolutely. Look, if you don't have health, or if you're compromising your health, or if you do not care about health, right, it could be or could lead to major, major problems. When the body breaks down, when the body diseases, right, when the cells start attacking each other. Worst case scenario, you're in for a bout of cancer. You don't need that. You don't want to find yourself, oh my God, didn't go for my checkups, didn't do the very, very basics I could have done to address my health. Bam, the next thing you know, you have stage three, stage four cancer. We lost a loved one, Mandy, from the ride share business only a few months ago, right? And, you know, bombarding your body with uh, chemotherapy, it's so brutal. Very few people pull through. So, you know, what Infantry Sarge says here, stay ahead um, of the future in health, right? Take time out of your ride share day, specifically because I'm making this video for drivers. I'm making this people for, I'm making this video for people that care about their loved ones. They'd want to say, okay, well, you know, and my kids are at school every day. I'm only at work and I'm surrounded by two or three co-workers. I don't know, really have to get, but my kids are surrounded by hundreds of kids coughing and sneezing and blah, 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 all day long. What can I do for my kids? Well, usually all the type of supplements that they have for adults, ladies and gentlemen, they have the kiddies version, you know, they have the kiddies version. They have vitamin C, like gummies, they taste good. You know, kids are not tablet swallowers. They do not like tablets. They really don't, right? If you started off your kid at a young age with a tablet, firstly, they can't swallow it. It's too big. Like, oh, boy, I can't swallow this. It tastes revolting. It leaves an acidic uh, taste in their mouth, and they are so off tablets. The way you make it appetizing, the way you make it pleasing to every kid is like you get these freaking gummies, right? Omega gummies, vitamin gummies, D3 gummies, these gummies, those gummies, right? And they're like, oh, we like this. And meanwhile, they're getting all the good stuff. So adults, we know, we've been, you know, through the school of hard knocks. We know what it takes to swallow three or four big tablets, big swig of water, down they go, we're done. But with kids, it's a little different, right? So kids are our little precious future. We've got to take care of them, right? Again, engage your kids in, in as much laughter as you can, right? Kid, kids are silly. Kids are authentic. They are in their authentic, loving self. They're just having fun, right? As parents, we're stressing out, oh, I've got to bring in the money, I've got to pay for my kid's education, I've got to pay for that extra tuition, I've got to make sure the rent is paid. All of these hardships on adults cause stress. Kids, they don't care. They go outside, I'll get my skateboard, I'm going to go BMXing, I'm going to get on my Xbox. Why? Daddy and mommy supply me with all of these wonderful things. I have a very carefree life until they hit their teens until they get their car, until they start college, until they get their job. Believe me, the moment they get their job, the first stresses of real life start setting in. So moral of the story here, long story short, got all of these impulses coming your way every single day, right? Every day, I got this stress coming my way, this stress. I worry about that at the end of the month. I'm worrying about this, you know, you just bombarded with all these worries, 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 all these worry bubbles, right? You're going to poke all those worry bubbles, um, inject all the good stuff, get a little bit of laughter in there, get a little bit of in, um, meditation, get it in there, get a good workout in there. Um, you know, here I am preaching on workouts. I'm not even really doing that many. I do, you know, I do my exercises, my my weights, everything. Like, but my fiance, she's in the gym. You know, she's at Gold Gym. She's working out every day, um, reducing her stress levels with good workouts. You know, she's one. She's several steps above me as far as the workout goes, right? But I do more than the minimum. I do my stretches. I do my walk walks. 
I do my exercises, right? Uh, my, my weights. But, you know, what I should be doing maybe is like hitting the gym hardcore for an hour at least three, four times a week, right? But water, I hope all of you guys are drinking a lot of water, right? Good water and that is well pH balanced, right? You can research your waters, you know, and if, if, if you feel like you're a heavy, heavy smoker, if you're a heavy, heavy coffee drinker, your body is probably super high in the acidic range, get some lemons into your body, mix up lemons, squeeze lemons with water, bring that balance in so that it starts balancing out so that it's sort of between alkaline and um, uh, acidic, right? So that your cells thrive in a healthy environment. Now, as I speak here, Sorry, as I sit here and as I speak here, my uh, fiance son, Liam, he's watching Sevens World Cup Rugby here in LA, right? Front row tickets. Um, I, I didn't get those tickets. He got those tickets from a friend. Super jealous that he's sitting there watching South Africa play, Kenya. Um, um, let me just see if he could. Oh, I just got good news. South Africa beat Kenya 31 to 5, right? I also heard that Spain, España, Viva España, beat England, which is very surprising. England 5, Spain 22. And the morning started off with New Zealand beating Wales 49 to 7. Now, that's where I would like to be, right? But with a, with a head, with a concussion, all the people cheering, the screaming, would not be a good thing. I rather take the time. Enrique, you are more than welcome, my friend. It's an honor to have you here as a subscriber. You're a great man. I appreciate you being here. So thank you for those thumbs up, Enrique. Um, Infantry Sarge, I hope you're doing well down in San Diego. Um, <laughs> we, Infantry Sarge, yeah, you got me a good laugh. Yeah, I just read this line. Weed gummies. For adults, they call it edibles. And oh my gosh, not to mention names, but do my clients, right? Many of them musicians, do they love those weed gummies? They love that stuff. You know, when I take them to concerts, eating all these weed gummies, right? Then, woo, 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 woo. It's like, by the way, those are weed gummies. Those are not vitamin C gummies. Those are weed gummies. So, um, so that's good that you mentioned it. Thank you for the laugh. I needed that laugh. Thank you. So that just helped my immune system, right? That good laugh. Um, and I thank Infantry Sarge for that. Infantry Sarge says coffee. Look, who doesn't like coffee, right? I need my morning coffee, right? The one thing I have in common with my fiance, Laura, is that she'll go to work and boom, she has her first coffee right there at the office. I have my first coffee here. I have a French press. Shh, done. You know. Okay, at that point, great, your body wakes up, gets into motion, you get your little boost, but, you know, what does coffee do for you, right? Coffee dehydrates you, right? So you have to make it up with a lot of water. And coffee also um, makes the body very acidic. So, again, for every, let's say, bad habit, you have to counter it, right? So you could counter coffee with a lot of water. You could counter coffee with a lot of lemon water, which will... Again, balance those cells. So like everything in moderation, folks, right? Everything. Look at this little kid. That's a great picture. You can see there's a kid just laughing out loud, right? No stresses in the world, no nothing, just having a lot of fun, just laughing away. Cool. So I think um, I enjoyed that one. I don't know about you guys. Did you enjoy that? Um, did you enjoy that live feed? And 40 minutes, 40 minutes of health, 40 minutes of boosting your immune system. Very, very, very quick recap for the people walking in right now. Um, I would say the go-to supplement is D3. You know, get at least 10 to 15,000 IU, that's the measurement system, into your body per day. Go out and fill up on 15 minutes of sunshine. You'll get a lot of D3. If you can afford the pro probiotics, great for your colon, great for your digestive system, great for your small intestine, great for your, your larger intestine, 
garlic immune booster. Elderberry is the best of the uh, of the berry family. The elderberry is expensive, especially when you get into the tablets and the syrups. They could easily be fifteen to twenty dollars upwards, right? They last you two to three weeks, right? If you if you go out there to a good source, a natural market, to Whole Foods, to Air One, to a market that provides these type of products. Let me tell you, if you want to spend the money, you can easily be in for $150 to $200 and you walk out the door. But if you really want to do the essentials and get going like yesterday on your immune system, I would say you could walk out the door for $35 and do your body the world of good, right? Now, all the supplements in the world don't really have help um, that much if your body is constantly, constantly bombarded with stresses. So address that big one first, stress, right? Find ways to reduce stress first. Walking, exercising, walk, um, uh, drinking a lot of water in between workouts, getting more sleep in. Get that balance in first, right? If you are very, very overweight, work your way in, right? Don't don't go in there doing crazy one or two hour, get on the Stairmaster if you're carrying a lot. Of, work your way in gently, right? Um, anyway, Rhino Parts, thank you. Um, thank you, you wonderful guys. I'm going to be um, ending this live stream. I think I've said everything um, that I can or that I could. Um, we definitely did not have too many visitors in the stream today, which is sad. I mean, do people, you know, I hope they still come across the video. I mean, are, are you more interested in money-making videos? Or are you also actually interested in immune-boosting health videos, right? You should, you should know your priorities. We should have at least had 100 people in the stream, right? Money ain't everything. Money can buy you these things, but money is not going to solve your problems, right? Um, right now, today, as of today, this should be the number one topic on your mind, on your family's mind, on your kid's mind, is that you address this. You address ways, having a family discussion, having a discussion with your kids, how do we work together and get our immune system up. Hey, Jack, you cannot be spending three or four hours on your Xbox every day. We need you to get out, take your bicycle, your rollerblades, your skateboard, go walking, take your kids for a hike, have a group talk, a group talk that leads to immune boosting exercises. That's what I'm gonna leave you with. So I wanna say thank you to Infantry Sarge, I want to say thank you to Rhino Parts. I want to say thank you to Enrique. I want to say thank you to Mark A. I want to say thank you to Ari Gutman and the other people that I cannot see. They're just watching. They're not commenting. Thank you for participating. Obviously, health is a big one for you. Obviously, you're here to pick up a few things, right? Good for you. Have a happy, happy weekend. Jamin's in the house. Jamin, Jay as well. Thank you. Thank you for... Um, commenting. I appreciate you. Thank you for saying that. Right. So um, happy, happy weekend, Saturday night, get a lot of rest, go out there, go and do the minimum, uh, get a little walk in immediately. Um, report back to me. Report back to me today if you got your D3s. Say, hey, right here, Professor, I went out today. I got my D3s and I loaded up on 10,000 to 15,000 IU. I did it. Just like the Nike slogan. Just do it, folks. No excuses. Right. No excuses. Putting $20 in your gas tank, put $20 into natural good supplements. Get that immune system up and let's enjoy health and life together. God bless you, my friends. Have a great weekend. Happy Saturday. Make money tonight. Um, big hugs to your family and uh, much love from the ride share professor. And don't let those space invaders invade your body, those little critters, those little bacteria. As little viruses. Use these things to keep them out. Have a fantastic weekend.